This is heavy. I got a lot to show you guys. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, hi, my name is Kayla Jukic. And if you are not, welcome back. So yesterday, I actually went cross-border shopping in Buffalo, New York with my friend Shauna. I bought some goodies and, oh my God, it's a lot. Did I just rip the bag? Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. We like taking these little road trips to Buffalo just because they, they have things we don't have. They got the Target, the TJ Maxx, the Trader Joe's. So every couple of months we like to go. I think the last time we went was like September or October of last year. I did get home yesterday, maybe like 8.30, almost nine o'clock. So it was too dark to film a haul. I'm going through everything today and I wanna start opening things up. Maybe I'll start with Target because I think it's the most things that I got. We'll start in this bigger bag. The thing that's on the top, it's so funny. It's the only thing that I opened yesterday because me and Alan were like, we need to try that like ASAP. It is this banana nut sliced cake. It has walnut pieces in it and it's from the Favorite Day Bakery. Oh my freaking God. I thought I was going to finish this entire thing last night. I had one slice and I was like, somebody needs to take that away from me because I would just demolish this. It is so moist. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, especially when I post like my meal prep ideas, I like using a lot of like Kodiak cake recipes to make like sheet pan, pancakes or muffins or whatever it is. But two things that we don't have in Canada are one, the protein ball mix. So it's basically a no bake protein bite mix and it is oatmeal chocolate chip and it's such a good snack or even like a breakfast if you're on the go, you could totally have this. And then the other one I bought is the banana muffin mix. We don't have this here in Canada and I friggin love anything banana. As you can tell the banana cake, banana muffins. I literally want banana everything. So I've actually never tried this. I'm excited. Now this one is, um, I don't know if I'm scared or not. <laughs> it sounds funny, but I am not a huge tuna person. I have tried to eat tuna just because it's really good for you. It's high protein. I just always have trouble. I don't know in the can. I just don't like the smell. I don't know what it is. I just haven't found something that I really like in terms of tuna, but I always see like Canadians who go cross border buying these star kissed packs or like I see people on TikTok who are from the US or whatever. They were like a dollar or two dollars. So I figured I would just pick them up if I don't like it. It's not like they cost an arm and a leg. So I got the ranch flavored one. And then the other one I got is the herb and garlic. The other thing I got is this suddenly pasta salad Greek goddess thing. I always see like Greek goddess recipes on TikTok. And then I saw this and I was like, okay, I'll maybe give this a try because I love pasta salads. I'm always making those for my, my meal prep. Recently, my husband has been trying to eat a little bit more fiber so i picked up these fiber one brownies in the chocolate chip cookie flavors he'll have this you know with his like lunch as like a little snack during the day for work now if you guys also know me you know i love overnight oats i make it pretty much week in and week out and i saw this oats overnight shake and basically it's like it's literally in a bottle and it already has like the oatmeal and the strawberries this one is strawberries and cream and all you have to do is add water and refrigerate and it has 15 grams of protein so i figured i'm gonna give it a try just because it's new and it's i've never seen anything like this before i also love love making cookies. I have the perfect cookie recipe that I got off of Pinterest and I always do different things like mini eggs, chocolate chips, score, white chocolate chips. We don't have butterscotch chips. So I picked up one of those because I feel like these will be so good in my cookie recipe. And then the last two things from this bag, I picked up Olive Garden light Italian dressing, just honestly to try something new. I eat a lot of salad. Recently I've been eating a lot of like the poppy seed kale salad. And now that I'm getting sick of it, I'm just like bored. I wanna try something new. So I picked up this. And then the other thing I got is this butternut squash pasta sauce. I bought one from Trader Joe's in the fall and it was like butternut squash pumpkin, I believe, and it was so good. But but obviously they don't have it now because it's like the winter time going into the spring. I saw this butternut squash one at Target and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick it up and I'll try it. I love pasta. So I am always up for trying new sauces. And then moving into the second bag, I picked up the Banza mac and cheese made with chickpea pasta. Literally have never tried Banza before, but I got the shells and white cheddar. My husband and I like mac and cheese and like craft dinner. So I know we'll like that. I also picked up these Flings Pop-Tarts. We love Pop-Tarts. We stopped eating them though, just because 
they're not super healthy for you this one is like low sugar and it's like a protein version like in one pastry you only have 4.5 grams of fat and then you're getting 10 grams of protein and then last but not least last time i went to the states i picked up poppy to try so this time i picked up olipop so i got the cherry cola I got the vintage cola and then strawberry vanilla. We did also go to Walmart, but I only picked up these like packets of seasonings. I got this one from McCormick. This is the garlic butter shrimp scampi. I don't know, it looks so good. Both me and my friend Shauna and her mom picked this up. So we all wanted to give it a try. I also picked up the guacamole seasoning mix from Great Value. And then the third one I bought was from Hidden Valley. I got the buttermilk chicken. My husband and I eat a lot of chicken just because we don't eat pork. So like it's nice to have a change up and just like try something new i guess now we'll move into tj maxx because that bag is the closest to me pretty much all i bought from here is just like hair accessories i got a lot of stuff on like clearance so the first thing i got are these claw clips it's supposed to come in a pack of four but one of them is missing so i don't know if that means somebody stole it or what happened but they obviously gave it on clearance i only paid four dollars for this which is crazy because if I were to get four of these on Amazon, I'm probably paying like at least $20, $15, $20 probably. I also bought the microfiber bubble headbands. You guys have probably seen like when I'm doing my skincare and stuff, I have the blue one, but I have a pink robe. So I ended up getting a pink one. Ooh, this is a good one. I took off my lashes recently. Obviously, you guys probably can tell I have some mascara on right now. I'm getting them back on soon, but... I bought an eyelash curler in the meantime just because my lashes are so straight and just like putting mascara on them it just doesn't work so I got this for $4.99 and it also does come with like a little brow toolkit. I also picked up these like hair styling clips so I really like clipping my hair when I'm doing like get ready with me's or whatever so that would be good for that but these will also be good for like sectioning because they're mainly like sectioning clips so like when I section my hair to like curl it, these will be very handy. So it just comes with two, four, six, eight of them. So four of them are just like a light pink and then four of them are like floral. I've just been loving having cute aesthetic like headbands for my skincare. So I picked up this ultra soft and washable little headband and it has a little bow. I went with green because I was just trying to do something different. And honestly, I love green, like it's so pretty. I think it's really good with like my brown hair and my skin tone and it was $3.99. And then last but not least, I did get this headband. My husband and I are going away on vacation in April. So I thought this would just be cute to like wear on vacation. Like when we go off of the bow, it's just like a knitted almost bandana. I'm trying to look in the mirror, it looks so cute. So I love that. They had a bunch of different colors like they had ones that I think it was like white with like red chilies on it I saw another one it was like a cream color with red strawberries on it and then last but definitely not least I had to make a pit stop at Trader Joe's I'm a little bit disappointed I should have brought a cooler because they were fully stocked like everything was fully stocked and i was like ah oh. and we went there first because we didn't want it to be busy but some of the things i got there are the organic white truffle potato chips i literally bought two bags because the last time i bought these i ate one bag in probably like two days not even i also decided to buy the everything but the bagel kettle cooked potato chips i've never tried these but i love everything that's like everything but the bagel and of course to go with that i got everything but the bagel crackers these are so good i like dipping these in like hummus or spinach dip or like artichoke dip or whatever it is these are so good even with cheese this is just such a good snack again going with like the fiber bars for my husband i picked up these rolled oats and chocolate chip fiber full granola bars in one serving you're getting nine grams of fiber hopefully he will like these I also did get another pasta sauce there so this is the Trader Joe's Rosatella pasta sauce it's basically a rosé sauce made with tomatoes and cream I've been meaning to try Bear Bell's protein bars so I picked up just one just because I want to try it and see what it's like but I got the cookies and cream I feel like that's the one I'm probably gonna like the most I've also don't think I've ever seen turkey jerky like especially where i live i always just find like beef jerky so i picked up this natural turkey jerky in the teriyaki flavor and it's a really good source of protein it's low fat like there's literally zero grams of fat per serving and 
nine grams of protein. So again, this will be a really good snack. And then last, but definitely not least, I saw these and I was like, oh my God, I know my husband is going to love them. I got the glazed chocolate donut holes. I honestly did not even show him this yesterday because I knew he was going to open it. So I will open this today and we will munch on it because I can just feel them. They feel so soft and... I just, they're gonna be so good. So that is everything that I bought on my Buffalo cross-border road trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. And next time I go to Buffalo, I will try and vlog it maybe, or I'll just do another haul just because this one was a little bit big. I didn't buy, again, any clothing this time. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to me down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.